Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm up to date with a quick haul. Um, I have some things that I got from a few different sellers on eBay, and I also have one little tiny purchase that I made from Christina over at KG Crafts on Instagram. I'm gonna show you the eBay items first. Now I did um, find a seller on eBay that is selling a lot of different various American Crafts things and they do typically have them in like bundles of like two or three. So I did pick up a pack of three of the Busy Sidewalks chipboard. It was a really good price. Like these were only about four or five dollars a piece, which is a really good deal for chipboard. Um, so I picked up this pack that I can use at Christmas time, obviously. All right, that same seller had some American Crafts um, products, some of the new stuff, the uh, Bia Valent. They had a three pack of the Sketchbook um, Ephemera. And um, this ephemera is so cute. I'm going to go ahead and open it up just so we can look at it real quick. And um, we have the little pack, which is like some cute little bits here. We have some tags, some frames, lots of little fruits and things. Swan, sentiment. This collection just totally, I love that little cinema ticket. This collection has so many like Maggie Holmes vibes to me. Um, lots of little sentiments that you can use on your projects. I love that so much. This one especially reminds me of Maggie Holmes. Lots of, again, more little sentiments, some cherries. Mon Cherie, I love that. Little, little tiny tag with a flower. This one, and then some more little labels and tags. So that's in the small pack, and you do get 71 pieces in this ephemera pack. Like I said, the um, this particular seller, I'm, I'm pretty sure they must work for American Crafts or something, because they always have a lot of they, they have a lot of the um, the new Maggie Home stuff. Like that's where I actually bought some of the paper when I hauled it. Um, I don't know, not too long ago, and um, they have like some of the stickers and things and. They sell it in like packs of two or three, although you can buy single packs as well, but it's generally a little bit cheaper if you buy it in the bundles. Um, okay, and then this is the other part of the ephemera pack. We have some vellum. Oh my gosh, look at that stamp with the swans and vellum. So cute, a little vellum tag. So many pretty vellum pieces. I love the little ticket, a little frame, a little tiny butterfly on like printed colored vellum. So cute, a little flower, another little frame. It says adorable. This one here, it's like a little punch out of a flower. Some little labels, and then that tiny little strawberry is so cute. That is not vellum though, but it's really cute. We have lots of vellum pieces. We have this little tag, and then now we have the cardstock stuff, the swan, a little bird that says hi tiny tiny little banner tags oh my gosh how cute are those so adorable the only thing that i'm bummed out about this collection is that there's not a foam sticker sheet or um obviously no chipboard i really hope that they bring it back i know i've kind of <laughs> i've been on my soapbox for a while i'll post every so often on my instagram stories like i'll tag american crafts like hey can you please bring back chipboard and um uh, a woman that actually works for American Craft, she reached out to me when I had posted something. She said she works there, and she said that, I said, well, why did they switch? And she said, well, they wanted to try a different product, um, but she said she would pass along my feedback. I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but I think anybody that misses shipboard stickers, we really need to voice our opinions to American Crafts because we're the ones that are buying the products. We're the ones spending our money on the products, and they really need to give us what we want. Um, the foam stickers are just not as good. I mean, <clears throat> they bend easily, the images crease. Um, there's just a lot of different things I don't like about the foam stickers. I'll buy them because there's no other option, because there's no chipboard. Um, like, I'll buy them for the Maggie Holmes collection um, that's coming out, or that's come out now. But um, I would much rather have chipboard, and I'm hoping that they'll bring it back. Um, and the reason I'm even mentioning this is, I'm going to show you in a second. Like, they do have a, an, a chipboard element to this particular collection, but what I don't understand is why they can come out with a chipboard element like this, which is the chipboard charms and ribbon. This was a two pack on, by the way, and um, it comes with a little ribbon, really pretty colors. 
So they can come out with a chipboard element to this collection. And I believe the Paige Evans collection also has a like what's called chipboard ephemera or something. Um, I haven't gotten it yet, but um, if they can come out with a chipboard um, pack that has, you know, these little charms or whatever, why can't they just give us a 12 by 12 sticker sheet? This has thir uh, 53 pieces, which is approximately what you would find on chipboard sticker sheets, um, anywhere from 35 to 50 some stickers. So why can't they just give us um, a chipboard element uh, sticker, 12 by 12 sticker sheet? Like they're giving us chipboard, they're obviously manufacturing chipboard for the designers. Um, so why can't they just give us a 12 by 12 sticker sheet? I just, I, I don't understand. It's so, it's so strange. Um, and I really hope that they bring it back because, um, you know, I mean, I'm going to try to clip off some of these to, to use them for layering like I would a chipboard sticker. But um, I just, yeah, I just don't understand why they got rid of the, the sticker sheets um, or hopefully they'll bring them back. You know, I have that. I'm holding out hope. <laughs> I'm holding out hope because I want them to come back so bad. Um, and I also really wish that crepe paper would, would crank out some collections here soon, some Christmas and Valentine's collections and things. We I, I talk to so many of my different crafty friends all the time about it, and I just miss those old collections and the, the fun, whimsical stuff that they would put out. And um, I just really wish that they would re-release, uh, or w I wish they would release new collections. The last crepe paper collection we saw was Gingham Gar- or no. The fairy garden one, the mid midnight mag magical mid I don't know what it was called, but that I think was the last one. I think it came out after Gingham Garden, but either way, it didn't do very well, I don't think. And um, um, I really, really hope that they bring back crepe paper because they're obviously now working with Chamel again. And oh my gosh, I dropped a piece of this, and now I can't. Now I don't see it. Um, so they're obviously bringing back old designers and things. Um, kind of wonder if they'll bring back Amy Tangerine or I don't know if Dear Lizzie will ever come back or not. Probably not, but um, it would be so nice to uh, to have Crate Paper release some new collections, especially Christmas and Valentine's. I know we all miss those cute collections. Um, so anyways, this is the, um, the, the chipboard... Charms and Ribbon from the Be of a Lent, Be of a Lent sketchbook collection. It was a pack of two, so I got those. Um, and then that same seller was also selling the three pack of the Forever Fields by Maggie Holmes, the Puffy Stickers. And all of these came out to be like cheaper than if you buy them individually. So that's why I bought them. And plus I always buy, you know, multiples of everything anyway. So got those. And then the same seller also had a pack of the Heritage Ephemera, a three pack, which I'm not going to open because I've, I've shown this one before, but three pack of Heritage Ephemera for like, I don't know, it was like less than four dollars a pack or something it was really a, a good price so got all that from that one seller okay another seller had the sunny days paper flowers now these are really hard to find and i when i went through my stash to, to put together my prize packs for my 2k subbies giveaway i realized i don't have very many of these i only have maybe like two or three of them in my stash so I went ahead and bought four packs of these because they're just so hard to find now. And I do like using them when I play with sunny days. So I picked up four packs of those and they were a pretty good price as well on eBay. All right, that was another seller. Separate seller was selling this Crate Paper Wonder 6x6 paper pad for uh, also a really good price. This collection came out in... 20 let's see 2015 so i just thought i could i have one or two of these already but i thought i could pair this with some other collections um and now that i'm getting into the habit of mixing things i thought i could use this with some other collections i don't have much of it i only have like this i have a couple of the paper pads like the small ones and i might have some of the wood veneers maybe and that might be all i have i really don't have much of it but I thought maybe um, I could pair it with some other things. It is a really cute little paper pad. I love, this one reminds me of Bloom. Um, I really love this one. I really love this one. This one reminds me of like, I think there's like a Bloom or Chasing Dreams or Gather paper that has something very similar, like similar color screen scheme as well. And yeah, I just really like some of these papers. I thought they'll go well with some other crate paper collections. 
All right, that I got from a separate seller. And then the last thing I got on eBay was another seller selling the um, Maggie Holmes carousel ticket sheets. Now these ticket sheets are very hard to find and they are very expensive when you do find them. Like right now, I look at Mercari all the time, like pretty much daily, but I think there's a seller right now trying, trying to sell a, a, a one sheet of this, one sheet of these for $15. Um, I bought these on eBay from a seller for less than $4 a sheet. It was like $3 and 50 cents a sheet or something, which is a really good price for these. And so I bought four sheets because they're so hard to find. And I, I do have a few of them, but because they're so hard to find, I wanted to pick them up. I could get them at like a really, really good price. So, and then that way in the future, if I want to gift one or something like that, or if I want to break them up and gift some of the tickets I can, and still have plenty to go around for my stash. All right, that's everything that I got on eBay. Last thing I'm gonna show you is something I bought on um, uh, Instagram from Christine over at KG Crafts. She's been doing some like D-stash um, bundles and D-stash um, sales. So I picked up a pack or a little bundle of the Prima Marketing um, Say It In Crystals, three different ones of um, the little sticker sheets. Um, this one is the Flirty Fleur, super pretty colors. The um, Poetic Rose, but the reason I bought it was for this one. This is the Frank Garcia Douce collection, if that's how you pronounce it, Dulce, Douce. Um, so I wanted to have another pack of these. I do still have this collection. I don't play with it very often because I want to try to kind of like conserve it as long as I can. Um, but that's the reason why I bought this bundle. So that is everything I have to show you from eBay and Instagram. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you've not already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone.